Now to new insight into the viral video showing young boaters dumping trash right into the ocean. We're now hearing from another team who saw it firsthand. Local 10's Roy Ramos live in Boca Raton with the latest on this. Roy. Louie, when you take a look at these views, the water, the boats, the sunshine, it's really hard to see how anyone could trash this. But that is exactly what these group of teenagers are accused of doing, and it was all captured on video. It's a video that's now gone viral, infuriating viewers across the world that captured a group of teens dumping two garbage cans full of trash into the ocean Sunday. Whoever decided to do it is not in the right. I this Boca Raton Community High School senior told me he was on the boat right next to the boat seen in this video attending Boca Bash and knew of the trash that he could see piling up on the boats. I saw a bunch of trash. I, I wasn't like saying anything about it, but all I said was make sure it goes in the trash. Unfortunately, on this boat, that trash was dumped right into the Atlantic Ocean off the Boca Inlet. This video captured by Wavy Boats shows the trail of garbage behind the vessel as it drove away. With the teens playing it up for the camera, appearing to have no remorse for what they've just done. We live in such a beautiful area. No one should be doing that. It's just not good. But while most can see the wrong here, classmates who know some of the teens on that boat say their actions up, have guys? been overly scrutinized. Trash happens everywhere all over the world. We're terrorizing 15 year old kids because of trash. Yes, I know they're dumb, but at the same time, we all got to realize that. Florida is filled with trash. Well, officials with FWC don't seem to see it that way and are now working to find out who these teens are and what charges or fines they could be facing. We are identifying the subjects that were involved. We're working closely with our state attorney's office here in Palm Beach County and we'll determine the appropriate charges for these individuals. And we have reached out to FWC along with the state attorney's office to find out more about those charges. As soon as we hear back, we'll be sure to let you know. As for the parents of those teens, we've also reached out to both of those families. At this point, they've declined to comment. For now in Boca Raton, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Okay, lots of people are watching this around the world. Roy, thank you.